This time on Pole Barn Garage, can we drive this 1976 Grand Prix 50th Anniversary Edition home 275 miles after sitting for 20 years? God, it's really fighting it. It really is. All right, watch to find out. I have once again returned to Iowa, and winter has returned with me, and I'm here with my brother, Cody. I just bought this 76 Grand Prix 50th anniversary with T-tops. Uh, we're gonna see if we can get it to run and drive home. So let's get started. We've got a 400 four barrel of some variety. Notice the orange or red paint. It's kind of strange. I'm not sure what's going on here. It hasn't ran in quite some time. I think the guy said 20 years or something like that. The car is in okay shape. It clearly has some damage, but it's still wearing its correct rally wheels. They were part of the LJ package. The 50th anniversary was only available on LJ trim models and included rally two wheels and Hearst T-tops. She's got the grab bar on the dash, velour interior. Now it does have some problems. There's some rust here and it's pretty beat up, but every one of these cars was gold with a white top. It's something kind of special. She's got duels on her. <laughs> Stinky? She's got a stank to her though. Is it? Yeah. Stick your head in there. Oh, oh man. Oh my lord. That maybe reminds I'd, me of my Firebirds dash a lot. Maybe I don't want to drive this home. Radial tuned suspension. That was GM's gimmick in the 70s. No tack. Uh, so tack was optional in these. But full instrumentation was available with the LJ package. What we got here? Dig the electric trunk release and the AC vent built into the glove box door. It's always a cool part of these cars. As well as the angled shifter, you know, for performance or something. Now this T-top is cracked. I'm going to need your guys' help to find one Hurst T-top for this thing. But these are... Oh, this T-top's broken too. Yeah, both of them are. Now you can't really see this one from the outside. Well, that now, sucks. If you really look, they got cracks across them. Ooh, that one's broke bad. Yeah, it is. Let's just get started. I know the motor rolls over pretty easily. we got oils full and remarkably clean. I can still see through it, actually. What have we got for brake fluids? Absolutely nothing. Nothing at all? Well, no, Maybe a that's splash. a lie. It's brown. I brought a turkey baster. But there's let's a little, fill it up. There's a little bit front and back. I'll bet we get some brakes out of yeah. it. Yeah. She is... I don't know if you can see that, but it is actually full of nice green antifreeze. I might have lucked out on the mechanical end of here, if there's anything in that one. And there is. She's full of the Nice brain. red transmission fluid. And that does make up for the body issue on here. I had to give 1800 bucks for this thing, but I do think it was probably worth it. We did bring a trailer, just in case. I think we really should start with brakes on this one, actually, because of the hill we're working on here. If we can get any brakes at all, it sure make loading it easier, worst case scenario, so. Let's just fill her up and then go slowly depress the pedal a few times and see if we get some bubbles. 76, of course, will come with standard disc brakes on the front of all GM cars. Both reservoirs are working. Feel like anything? Uh, I got a good amount of movement before I hit something hard. It's, it's splooging like it's got pressure in the system. I'll put this in front of the wheel. This will stop it, probably. Just hit my truck if it doesn't. It does have a flat tire. I can't get it out of park. Turn the key on. Oh, it did. It moved. Nothing. Something's happening in there. I'm not sure what. <laughs> Try to roll. Are we rolling at all? A little, yeah. I think they're working. I think it might have some brake. Okay. Well, let's roll with that for now. Can you our... push the back just a little bit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got brakes. It's got brakes. At least. Okay. So. At least for now it has brakes. Yeah. So. Well, being discs on the front, I mean. They almost always work. As long as we don't blow a line out. Yeah. Which. Which I did bring. You did bring? Yep. Not for this car, but I brought them. All right, step two here is gonna be try to hook up a battery in it. Now, this battery is only a couple years old, actually, but I'm just gonna assume it's dead, and let's start with a known quantity here. But that means we're gonna have to change it over to top post, which means, you know, lead-acid batteries love to be laid on their side, so 
We'll just do that. And we'll use these Sketchomatic. <laughs> I hate these things, but they do work. Oh yeah, brake clean makes yeah. great contact cleaner, especially on high current items. I brought a fire extinguisher for the first time in my life. Is it good? I don't or know. Or is it just there? I found it in a car. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> Needs a haircut. Cut too much off. We can't <laughs> afford to lose it. We'll lose the shop. I don't know. I'll tell you this though. My fingers are not working as well as they oh, were earlier. We brought winter with us. <laughs> you know, this has 6X heads on it. And I'm wondering, that is available. I mean, they were around in 76, but that's, I don't know. That's fairly up and down. That's great. I've experienced worse. Oh, me too. I've been all kinds of sideways before. Right. I'll go turn the key. Yeah, I'll stand out here and I'll... You put out the fire. Okay. Lights on the dash. Nothing. Make sure it's in park. It is. Doesn't sound heavy. Well, it sounds horrible, but I think we might be able to get it to pop off. You want to me put a little spritz in it? What the hell? Let's go for it. Nothing. Nothing. But it also did slap the choke completely closed. Go ahead and check for spark. All right. Nothing. No spark. Nothing. All right. Let's Please dig into that. I thought I seen a little spark, dude. Oh really? Yeah, I thought I did. All right. Well, let's try again. Oh yeah. It sparked. Yeah, it did. It sparked. No kidding. All right. Yeah. It sparked right to the case of the alternator. Because we got. That guy's wide open. That's straight manifold vacuum. Yeah, we do have the. It has the bolts. The bolts method. in quite a few, but there are a lot of vacuum lines. Oh yeah, there is. Yeah, that's not even a vacuum hose. That people. <laughs> oh, what the hell is this? <laughs> oh, that's charcoal canister. Oh, that's still hooked up. Okay, that's map uh, vacuum modulator advances. That goes what? To here. Uh huh. That's weed eater fuel hose. Oh, don't cut my weed eater line. That up. is a rock hard. It's tiny. Is there a better? How about this guy? We don't need. That's just thermostatic choke. It's well, already plugged. It's plugged solid. It's naturally plugged. Yeah, I think there was an animal living in that. Okay, that may be part of our problem. You know, the animals. Sprinkle a little gas in her. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the boat tank. Yeah. Do you want to try it with this carb or just throw the other one on? No, let's do this one. Just throw it on? It's a quadrajet. It'll run. It just won't It'll run do good. do something. Do we just want to automatically go to boat tank? Let's just do it. At Maybe least. We... Okay. Yeah, let's just try it. I brought 25 feet of fuel hose. I say we just route it all the way up. We could always hook up the tank later if we wanted to. Yeah. Well, we'll find out whenever also we start it and it starts pumping that bad fuel out of the fuel pump. Valid. Well, I don't have a trunk key, but we do have trunk popper. I guess we'll see if it works. Pretty sure it does. Let's add the trunk open. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, I see. Fancy wheels. And a battery box. Somebody thought it was a race car. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> you pulled the fuel filter out? Yeah. It's got fuel, huh? Uh, something has been up in there. I can smell Smells it. terrible. But it's doing something. You sound like it was pumping, right? I, it was. We could put a filter right here. Yeah. Want to crank it and see what pumps out saying, of it right yeah. there? Oh yeah, that'd be a good idea. And just see see if it's pumping. If it's moving fuel, give it a shot. If it doesn't look like pure rust. Yeah. You want to grab another bottle? Oh, dude, that'd be great. Yeah, thanks. I mean, this. It smells. It smells bad. bad, but I've I've smelled a lot worse. Yeah. Let's see what <laughs> what this thing ukes out. I guess. It's Honestly, pumping. Ain't that fucking terrible, dude. No, it's not. It's, I mean, it's, it's brown. It's a little dark. Probably it's, got a little rust in the tank. It's pretty bad. It smells really ripe here. Huff that. That is. Smell like either. What's it taste like? I'm not that brave. I'll try, try to, to fill the bowl first. Yeah. And then see what it runs like. Uh, I'd keep that bottle on that fuel line, otherwise. Oh. We'll be. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I guess this will tell us if the needle's any good. Right. <laughs> So far, so good. Or it's stuck up. Well, yeah. Either way. Well, we got fuel dripping out of all kinds of places. Oh, really? Yep, dripping out of the side of the carb. Yeah, it's dripping out of the throttle it's shaft over here. here. Yeah. Yeah, see it. Um, Want to see if it'll fire? Might as well. 
Let's start a fire. The uh, fuel pump works really good. <laughs> <laughs> the carb works really well too. It oh, runs fine. Sounds good. Maybe it just needs to get wet and soften up the seals. We Let's try it and burn the car to the ground on the side of 35. Sure. Wait, that'll be what? fun. That'll be a good video. It's not your car. It's not my car. <laughs> now I will say, oh, that's not exactly what you. Ooh, that's a lot of sediment. If we're smart, we run off the boat tank, but we're not. We're not. That's straight varnish. That is much worse. That's much worse looking than it's darker. it originally was. Let's run off the boat tank. It's really nasty looking tea. I wouldn't suggest drinking that necessarily. I don't know. <laughs> Go for it. A uh, visual inspection of this would have told us what to do. It's pretty grody. And it's full. It is not echoey at all. Uh -uh. Here's the game plan. I have 25 feet of rubber hose. And by God, I'm going to use it. 25 feet of rubber hose and 19 feet of car. And 22 feet of car. <laughs> I'm going to just hook up to the inlet of the mechanical fuel pump, since it seems to be happy at the moment. I'm just going to run rubber hose all the way to the back of the car, into the trunk, for sort of safety's sake. We could put it in the car, but then, you know, I'm a smoker, and I go boom. And so, you know, you know flaming it's a bad Dalton deal. down the highway. Well, you know, some people might like to see that. But I I'm formulating a plan here. Okay. <laughs> so it goes through and into here, and then we go over wheel well, and then the frame rail all the way down. You want to put it right next to the spinning thing? Yeah. Right on, man. All right. <laughs> I'll all attach it to the spinning thing if you want. <laughs> we could go straight over the frame there and get to the inside. You push her over. I'll make it happen. We'll bring, we'll be back in one minute <laughs> after this word from our sponsors we don't have. I will now expertly and safely attach this fuel line to something. What the hell is this thing? I just, it just fell out of me. Oh, ah! Jesus. <laughs> Ultra safe, totally fine fuel system that has a decent two inch air gap between the exhaust pipe and it is installed, more or less. So I will now guesstimate the length to girth ratio. How long I need to cut this? Probably, I don't know, something in this uh, neighborhood here. I haven't mentioned it yet, but we're saving this car from a demo derby actually. And I'll show you right here, there was a post on a Facebook site and this guy, nice guy, selling the car, put it up for parts and because he was going to sell it to someone who was going to derby it. Anyway, people were just roasting the guy. So I jumped in there. He said make an offer on it. So I made an offer on the car and bought the damn thing instead of just whining about it. Come on, internet, keyboard warriors, you know, do something about it. Now I've got to be quick. I have to disconnect the fuel tank line from the fuel pump and quickly hook up the new line. But we're on a hill and it's got a lot of gas in it. So this is gonna go great. Loosening, still loosening. Oh, this is gonna suck. You're gonna get right down your arm. I know, ah, oh, my eyes. I will now clamp this bolt into the hose with gasoline in my eyes. You know, it actually looks pretty good. It's way clearer than I thought it was going to be. Damn it. <laughs> Oh. oh, and now you're laying in it. Uh, that smell is going to go well with the smell inside the car. You know what? It might cancel it out. You still got the return hooked up on her. Oh, good. It's just going to drain the tank then. Well, it's going to pump fresh gas into the tank. It's not necessarily a good thing, I guess. Not when you only have six gallons to work with. No. <laughs> I can tell you one thing. That gas doesn't have much left in it because it didn't burn that bad. <laughs> what we're going to do next... Uh, we're just going to replace somebody's put a little piece of rubber line here. Thankfully, already and cut out the hard line, change out the rubber hose. It's always a good idea to change out your hoses. You know, the ones you have. Ignore the ones that you don't have because they'll be just fine. That's, that's not working. That's not going to work at all, actually. She got a little kink in it? Yeah, I got a, a big kink in it. Maybe I'll cut her back to there. That might work. Beautiful. Perfection. <laughs> Except for the whole wiggle portion. Dude, it's fine. Is this normal? Well, how far do you think we're going to get on six gallons of fuel? 60 miles. You're that optimistic? 10 miles a gallon? 
It ought to do that. I'm worried about the return line still hooked up to the. Oh yeah. The pump. Well, you we could always plug it, but we'll see how bad it is. Yeah. What if, what happens when it overfills the gas <laughs> it just tank? Just starts pumping out the back. <laughs> I guess I'll try to flag you down that bad things are happening. What's but, with the race car bugs? These things are like forty bucks. I'm making my money back. That's it. That's actually nice to have around. You never know when you need that. Like when I demo derby this car. I mean, <clears throat> see, this is the position. Indeed. You know, I should the, just cut the back of that funnel off. This is not the first time I've ran into this problem. Uh, we don't know how much to put in here. Good thing is, it'll just get rid of what it doesn't want, right? Yeah, well, the more you put in it, the better it shifts. I think that's... Whoa! Oh, my God! Um, <laughs> got a little excited there, did we? Shoot. <laughs> you know, transmission fluid makes a great degreaser. I also hear it's non-flammable. Oh, no dude, issues. It doesn't burn. What? That is Chevy orange, by the way. They went ahead and rebuilt on it. Uh-huh. It did a decent job. It runs pretty good. It does run really <laughs> well. <laughs> Shake it out. <laughs> I've got another one, but that was half of that. Ugh. on it we'll pull it onto some flat ground and see what happens at the end of the driveway probably yeah. all right um it's windy or there's a ghost where the jug just took off it's a ride. ghost just it's time to throw some new shoes on her and by new i mean the original wheels off of my corvette with 20 year old tires how's that looking um safe safe yes. absolutely this thing must have been sitting in mud because the whole bottom side is just covered in mud oh, good so it'll break in half on the way home yeah we did notice something a little concerning. These are mag wheel lug nuts that they've been using on these. You're supposed to take a regular tapered acorn lug nut. We're gonna have to do something about that. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> he bought this out of a junkyard. And I don't think he was lying. No, I believe he was completely correct. Is that flexible still? Yeah. Still feels pliable. Yeah, it's moving around. Okay. It's not even cracked. Let's shh. <laughs> shh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. Oh, I kind of like those. I brought all the tree. See, this is the kind of revivals I do. It's not good enough just to put tires on it. No. No. We got to put the center caps on. The rallies. The rallies are good. But they, they'll stay for sure. But that's, that's definitely not ugly. It's good enough to drive home game plan we got all our wheels on i guess we'll fire it up let it run make sure it transports sure, yeah we'll push this up so make I run sure the brakes actually work better than we think they are yeah we'll use this as a chalk for this big hill we're on dodge the trees and cars as you go rolling into I'm the street straight into those woods <laughs> we've installed the safety here just in case i do like the fact that we sprayed that down with penetrating oil yeah because now i don't know which is brake fluid and which is penetrating oil well it's for in our... my mind it's all penetrating oil we're good yes obviously we sprayed that down because we you know i brought a master cylinder we're probably gonna have to put one on it it was leaking a little bit but you never know it might last so I no no it won't. <laughs> How many starts does the starter have in it? Beautiful. Yeah, baby. Hey, power windows work. Well, it goes forward and back, and it stops. Not good. Not good. But it works. Like drive 70 miles an hour on the highway, good? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Work. It looks good. Hey, brake lights work.
Uh, yeah, the fan wasn't spitting at all. Hmm. Keeping this cool is going to be an issue with that. Uh, There's no resistance on that clutch. I think it's stuck on that shroud. I mean, it might turn some if it wasn't. That's why it didn't make any noise. <laughs> it stopped working. It's not moving. Yeah. Next stop is O'Reilly. We're going to top off the tranny fluid. I'll get with you guys in a second here after we get moving. And Well, if we get moving. I guess here goes nothing. Wow. <laughs> it's not bad. It's got a little surgeon or something going on. I guess we'll see how she does. Temp gauge works. That's a good sign. Maybe. Maybe I don't want to know. Five minutes down, all systems are nominal. 40 pounds oil pressure, running nice and cool still. Charging, fuel gauge doesn't work, doesn't matter. Speedometer works. Brake test, not gonna hit them hard or anything, but they stopped the car. It's pretty, I mean, I can deal with that. <laughs> Not the best place to do a brake test. <laughs> it's not really trying to get hot or anything, so... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah, you can't make this stuff up. <laughs> I'm so... How did it get me over the highway before it died? <laughs> oh, boy, what now? It's out of gas? No, it's not. It's got some. It's half. Yeah. But I bet it's you drinking it though. We need to plug that return. I'd crawl under there and we'll shove a bolt in the return line and quit returning to the tank. It's it sucked half that already. Tank. And we've gone two miles. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna shove a bolt in it, cut it off, and we'll hope that works. I don't want to put a starter on it here. No. Let's get the jump pack. Jump pack is on. Brake clean. Okay. That's the fan. Yeah. All right. All right. All good. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Please don't do that again. At least not where it's incredibly windy. I don't know how this is going to work out, guys. Stay tuned! Enjoy the scenery of Iowa. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, oh, yeah, corn. And, and corn. Doing 55, no problem. It doesn't drive too bad. I don't know, man. Might be a car. We'll see, though. God, these T-tops just whistle. So windy in here. <laughs> we have two miles to go. To O'Reilly. We're hanging 60 miles an hour. It actually drives a little smoother if you drive faster. Oddly enough, that's usually not how that goes. I don't really trust the brakes, but they seem to be working and she's just humming along. God damn, I hate it. I always fall in love with these things. Every time. I can't just legitimately hate something and then just flip it and make some money. Oh no, Dalton's gotta have it. Brake check. Maybe I'll hit this truck and then I won't have to worry about it anymore. I can't tell if it's the gazillion mile per hour wind that's pulling to the right or if it's the brakes. No, nope, it's the brakes. He's still just... Man, I tell you what, these old Pontiacs, you just can't beat them. You know when you shut your car off and that starts to happen? It's always a good sign. <clears throat> what is it? Let's play, what the hell's that fluid? Did you get a little warm? You can't open the hood from inside. I have to lay under it and pop it. Uh, what? <laughs> you get a hole somewhere, don't you, guy? Ah, uh, radiators. Bad. Shit. This brake is pretty hot. This brake's working. No, yeah, that brake's stuck. It's not bad, not yet, but it will be. How stupid am I? 
Ah, uh, I'm not gonna stay in here. Let's let her sit. We gotta go in anyway. We need lug nuts, regardless. The biggest thing of Stop Leak they have. Biggest thing of Stop Leak. I it's have some, off. but it's the crappy kind. I wanna buy the good stuff. Okay. Other than that, it drives pretty good. It shakes at 45, but at 60, it's not bad. I bet so, you that would put an actual, the real lug nuts has gotta, gotta help. help. Yeah. I'm myself here quite often. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, here. Let's this is called block seal right it fixes the engine so do you think they just sweep swept this stuff up off the floor of a Metal strip shaman. club we're gonna go ahead and rebuild the carburetor and i did manage to find lug nuts and a fan clutch actually but we'll worry about the fan clutch later yes it'll be running on like 90 percent this that's three of the right lug nuts on it now so maybe that'll help some I'll do that wheel and I think we're good. I guess you probably never built any pressure because you're leaking. You could see it getting repaired. Or not. No, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Damn it. Attaching jump pack because I'm too lazy to put a starter on. Hey, that fan's working just fine. They don't care if you don't. Just listen to it. Thanks, JF Agrol. <laughs> Save it up from having to put a starter in it. For now. I just put fuel in it, and I guess uh, we're just gonna wait and see if the radiator has healed, you know. That stuff is, uh, it takes time to work. You know? uh, it definitely works, though. It's guaranteed, it says it right on the bottom. I'll go get some lunch. That brake is stuck big time over here. I don't know if this is gonna work out. Well, I made it here. It's leaving a little piddle trail. Not as much as it was, though. Uh, it might have done something. Yeah. Let's let her cool off and go eat some lunch. I think it looks pretty good. I yeah. think it looks great going down the road. <laughs> it really does. Well, you know, over lunch, we just decided, well, why not go ahead and change the brake caliper in this fast food parking lot? What a better time than now to maintenance <laughs> this a little bit. Don't worry, I asked them for permission. And by that, I mean I did not. Is it stiff? It's not. <laughs> Before this gets bad, it's probably the rubber hose, right? But I th we think we could alleviate this by putting a new caliper on it. If it is the caliper that was packed with mud, we're right. giving it our best chance to save the pad. Right, because I did not bring pads. And since we have to stop 15 times for fuel, we'll know if it's working Pretty at quickly. the next fuel stop. Right. We've got plenty of pad left right now. Do 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 up a do up. Where's the entertainment? This is where you do all your major auto repairs. I don't, I don't even want to know what that is. Is the other wheel moving when you do that? It's moving the tire rod. Not even a little bit. It That's quite fine. a bit of play. It's the idler arm. Is it missing? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's moving up and down. Okay. <laughs> I think it'll be all right. Oh, I'm sure. Well, I've got to get a hammer. See, the problem is you looked at it. Now I know. Now yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Huh. Rotor doesn't look that bad. No, it's nice it's and It's definitely wearing the pad. Yeah, it And is. it's crumbling. Ooh, shiny. That brake line looks pretty good. Yeah. No, I mean, really, the metal line back here, it's hidden they put it behind, uh, behind the frame it might break free then we got to bleed it but i mean technically we should bleed it now anyway but it being spongy and not working that great might actually be oh, to our benefit that's a good point i am the impact and i stripped it i've resorted to the vice grips yeah i hate this we also put our jack stands underneath this for safety <laughs> Success. Victorious. Let's see if there's fluid in here. That'll tell us if that hoses. Nope. That really ought to be coming out of there. I would think. Caliper's full. Uh, I've got a couple drips, but that kind of makes me feel like it's a hose more than. We could try to go for it. I swear. It was like that when we got here. My local O'Reilly's couldn't get me Grand Prix brake hoses. So I ordered them for a 72 Bonneville with discs, actually, and uh, I figured they may just be a little longer, and they're actually damn near the same size. Almost, yeah. Uh, same fittings on each end, the banjo bolt fits, and they had them in stock. 
Son of a bitch. No way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. I can't believe that broke loose that easy. I can't believe that came off. That never happens. I'll have a number three. No tomato. Curly fries. Can I get a refill? Maybe I should stop being a pain in the ass for them. Nah. <laughs> they were nice people. <laughs> and they haven't told us to leave yet. That's true. I could get under there and put a starter on it. But my hands are cold. I know, I'm tired of this okay. already. <laughs> Look how much fluid's pouring out of that already, and I don't even have it all the way snug on it. And That's it, a great example of, of what a rubber hose does when it, it don't work no more. This time on Pole Bar Garage, we do brakes at a burger stand. Okay, it doesn't fit great. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. It's not not going as well as no, you No, I was very excited. And now there's brake fluid <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Everything's going swimmingly. It's only been like 35 minutes and Shut up. you're back where we were. <laughs> Look, we have actually fixed this problem. Well, <laughs> this problem. The other ones have the possibility of getting ignored. Are we going to bleed this? We probably should. Probably should. At least a quick bleed. I'm going to pop this bleeder loose with vice grips because that's what I have in my hand. <laughs> it won't pop with the hood release in the car. Oh my god. And uh, this is... Well, I'm going to keep filming just in case something happens. I'm sure we can Post this us. video if I die. Alright. Uh, it's oh. anticlimactic. Master Cylinder's back full. Cody's going to bleed him. Let's just get to uh, open up the bleeder and I'll... I'll just go down and then you tighten them up. Oh. Oh, that felt good. That's good fluid shot out of that. That is drastically better than it was <laughs> earlier. I think our fuel mileage just went up. Yeah, you better get ready for that NASCAR race. You mean when I demo derby it? Does the starter start? Next episode of Pole Bar Garage, they might leave the parking lot. <laughs> Our brakes are repaired. Let's get the hell out of here and get on the highway. At least we won't have to worry about catching a brake on fire. We're off again. Looks pretty good though. Couldn't imagine anything else going wrong. Let's get, to get on the highway here for the first time in a couple of decades. Power! It's not good. Something's shaky in the front. Most likely that idler arm. It died. Oh, I don't want to put a starter on it here. Acting like it ran out of gas. Could we maybe pinch this off or something? Oh. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Filter's dry. Well, here we are again. Nice long section of road. So people very kindly getting over for broke down vehicles. I'm just gonna assume the fuel pump died. That's what I'm guessing is it's not able to keep up. We'll put this in here, we'll run it off the drill battery as long as it'll freaking go. And then if that stops we fire the brake light and yep. Go. At the very least, we got to use this to prime that system as we can't wind on this car for very long. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll be in bad shape. We got the big battery, the 5 amp power. We got the max guy here. Fill it up. All right, let's try this one. Running off of a drill battery because that's what you do. Come on, baby! You know, if I lie to myself enough, I can almost pretend that I'm driving something that's not a complete death trap. It's almost pretty. The Grand Prix came about in the 70s as a personal luxury car. That's kind of what the 70s were all about, right? I mean, you evolved from the muscle car era of big engines, medium-sized cars, 
to the 70s, which while OPEC and fuel uh, regulations and uh, emissions regulations were really crippling the muscle car, you would think that the large land yacht would have gone by the wayside, but that's not quite the case. That didn't really happen until 1978 or so. Uh, that's when the big three, pretty much all of them, kind of shrunk their fleets, right? The big American land yacht, the symbol of the personal luxury car, the Grand Prix, you know, that's a, uh, it was a status symbol, and uh, that's what people wanted to buy. The market for this car did not care about fuel economy. They could buy the fuel, right? And so, it's a high-end car. It's really high-end. Uh, this car is personal luxury personified. That's my best Jeremy Clarkson impression. Let me know if you liked it. Splashing gas. And then it's your turn. <laughs> I'd love to check fluids, but I think it's all right. I think you're doing all right. I haven't seen it either. <coughs> it's driving. It looks like it's driving okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really good. That bad, huh? Don't do over 60. So if you convince me to get in the car and I die, is that murder? <laughs> I'll delete it. <laughs> now my turn to enjoy this luxury vehicle. Brakes aren't that bad. Running great. The last time I questioned his nervousness was in a Jeep that he said had horrific death wobble. I laughed at him when I drove it because it didn't do it, thinking he was being a little sissy about it. And then it did it to me, and it was the most horrific thing I have ever been in. So we'll see how this goes. One of driving the car, I'm up to 55.60. It has a weird shimmy, and it feels like the rear end is actually loose under the car. I don't necessarily know if it's the front end. You get a moment where it feels good, and then all of a sudden it kind of starts doing what it wants to do. 55.60 max is where you want to be, but you have no road feel at all. It's quiet and comfortable but zero road feel. And the smell, still there. Hello, Dalton. Definitely worse over 60. It's a nice car though. I love it. Might have to steal this one. You see, I don't want to die. So I put Cody in it instead. That's thinking with your head, people. About 10 miles into driving it. And whatever this spell is, the car has uh, made my allergies explode. My nose and eyes are watering like hell. And if the car doesn't kill me from driving off the road, the fact that I can't breathe is going to do that. Coolant temperature staying about 165, 40 pounds oil pressure, 13 volts. I mean, you're cruising 60, she feels good. Finally something that's enjoyable today, I like it. We are getting closer to Missouri. So we're starting to see this thing called the sun. It's a rare occurrence up here in Iowa, but it is still here. Well, it was doing good. We got uh, about 22 miles into the trip uh, on my leg and it just died. Like it ran out of fuel. How does that make sense? I think we've pinched a line somewhere. You're probably right. I'll just try to slide under here and look. Here's our game plan. Basically, we're gonna just run straight out of the tank to the car, bypass the mechanical pump, and see what that does. So he just pulled the fuel line off the fuel pump, and it had quite a bit of pressure built off up behind it. Here we are. <laughs> this is only the third time this has happened. And we've gone, I went 22 miles. <laughs> <laughs> 
We've it gone, looks so good going what, down the road. 60 miles so far? I know. We're hey. almost in Missouri. A whole month. You know what? That'll be the video. <laughs> Will this run and drive to, to Missouri? Missouri? Oh! Okay. What the hell? Sure. Um, needle? It's gotta Sorry, still no. be carver because it sucked it. It sucked it. Yeah, no, you're right. Empty. Well, your coat is getting a gas bag today. Dude, I am so flammable <laughs> right now. Which is good for the person that smokes. That's always the best thing. <laughs> All right, he's plugging it in. We are now running exclusively from a drill battery. It's really filling up any better than it did, if I'm being honest. Is it filling up any faster? No. Well, that probably did absolutely nothing. <laughs> Fuel pump was just Blowing gas every half a minute. <laughs> Godspeed, sir. All right. And away. We're off. Again. It, it, oh, wait. No, no, no. Wait, no, no. Hold on. You can do it. It's, it's waking up and going again. Nope. There it goes. Now it died. Oh. Nope. Nope. It died. It's chugging. It's, bloop, 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 bloop. it's definitely fuel. Uh, and you can't roll. Can't open the damn door. Hold on, roll the window down. Okay, pop the trunk too. There's so many things happening right now. Are you like finicky or something maybe? Maybe? Is the little bitty fuel line that's attached to the side of that too small? To? And it's trying to suck through that and it can't do it. Can't keep up? Yeah. Man, I've ran a lot of stuff off of boat tanks. Yeah, but have we cruised on the highway? No, Probably. not long distance. Yeah. Well, this truck's standing on the side of the road. God, this is, I'll take it all day. It's just barely keeping up. Well, I guess we'll try to pop this off and just shove it in here and see if it changes. <laughs> no, that didn't do anything. I don't know. Oh, there we go. There what we the, go. Well, what happened? Plan D. We have determined that there is pressure at the carburetor, therefore it could be deadheading against a bad needle and seat, not allowing flow to occur, but allowing pressure to build up. And this is obviously how you fix that problem. It is filling more. We got lots of gas up here, but somehow nothing in here. We've now connected the fuel pump to the tail light. It's not doing anything different up here. Running off of that tail light, more consistent voltage source, maybe. Maybe. It still didn't do anything at all. And we're off again. Finally crossed over into Missouri. We are out of Iowa, and it's only. 7.30 at night. We left at 5.45 this morning. All right, well, we're at the gas station. Uh, go ahead and fill her up and don't forget to wash the windows. Oh, yeah. So if I barely rest my foot on the pedal and just let God choose my speed. Yes. Um, we're doing all right. We've made it 30 <laughs> more miles. Whoa! Woo <laughs> ha! Leather and light! This is a problem. I mean, they literally worked when you turned them on. Yeah. You wish to continue to pilot this? I do. You're an idiot. I am. Anyway. <laughs> Well, I know, I saw that. <laughs> Let's write some bad checks. All right, I'll pop the hood. We're gonna try to make another headlight work. All the headlights are burned out. The one that worked burned out because I pulled on a wire in there. I mean, 
I'm about to make a probably really bad decision. And then turn Not off a the, diesel, man. Turn off the fuel pump. Huh? Turn off the fuel pump. Oh, you're right. <laughs> All I have to have is a bulb that works. One bulb that's straight. Yeah. Would be great. My truck has the same bulbs. We're going to see if there's anything in here. There's, there's a, a cat. couple cats. Give her a kitty. I'll take it. We hang these from the mirror. <laughs> Just let it dangle from the bottom of the bumper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Aha! <laughs> it literally just burned that bulb out. It's full of smoke. Now I activate headlights. Sure. As it burns out my headlights. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, look at it smoking. It's burning out as we speak. The headlight is? Yeah, it's smoking. Smoking. She might hang on. So what we've done is traced back the low beam wiring to here. We're not getting any power for headlights at all up here. So we're just going to jump straight from the headlights right to the battery right here. And boom, we will have two headlights rather than one. We're about to check the oil for the first time. Yeah. Literally since just getting in it. We know. I bet it's full and clean. I bet you it's full too. That is clean oil. It was looked like brand new. Yeah. I mean, it's clean oil. Perfect. <laughs> it's dead full. Yep. You're not going to believe this, but that burnt bulb. <laughs> the that, bulb just burned out. The bulb out. just burned out. All right, all right, all right. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'll go pull another one out of my truck and put it in here. Perfect. Yeah. Wow. I don't see I was any thinking reason. we might be able to leave in the next five minutes. No, it's <laughs> no. 940. It's a three and a half hour drive, and <laughs> we've been driving for six hours, and we're nowhere near home. Try it with no assistance. Yeah, see what happens. Turn on your headlights, sir. Thank you. All right, sir. This, this car is an operation. Like, <laughs> it's like, we need really a third man. Last leg. Yeah, you just stay nice and busy, officer. <laughs> I ain't got a title for that thing yet. And pissing off everybody. <laughs> it's, of getting, it's getting wanderier. No. Yeah. 3.6 gallons. And you throw, that was the longest stretch, dude. Yeah. And it's filled all the way to the brim. I did fill it to the brim last time. But this thing's getting, that was every bit of 60 miles or more. Oh, yeah. I mean, that was more like 70. Yeah, yeah. This son of a bitch is doing great. All you have to do is not drive the car. Yeah. I mean, Jimmy Carter was right. Just, yeah, yeah. America it. drives 55. This used 9.3. That used 3. <laughs> the fine looking machine. Oh my God, it made it. Honestly, a little amazed. It's here. Still cool as can be, still holding 40 pounds of oil pressure. I didn't miss a beat that last run, really. No, no, I actually think it was the mechanical fuel pump and it was air locked. Yeah. I guess you'd call it vapor lock, but it wasn't from the fuel being too Not hot. heat, right. Yeah. And once we got driving, I bet you that that filter is full. And also, it may be because it's a better. Even though it's a tail light, just shoved into a tail light. A more constant source constant of voltage. Source of voltage. 
I mean, you can't argue with it. Son of a bitch made it. <laughs> all the way back. Um, it's a handful right now, but... A little bit of work. It'll yeah. be all right. It's definitely worth Working every on. bit of what you got. And then this problem. Which problem? Oh, that problem. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you know, well, <laughs> we got some stuff to do. And the fact you gotta turn the headlights off by opening the hood. <laughs> the smell is still there. Yeah. That is, might be a permanent thing. Well, we'll throw JD in there. Roll the windows up and say clean. Clean. <laughs> Don't come out until it's working better. <laughs> I'm gonna shut your headlights off real quick. Hang yeah, on. I can't let even me, open the hood. Let me conveniently pop the, the hood. Here, let me get this for you. <laughs> there we go. This is a daytime running machine. <laughs> Not so much a nighttime. <laughs> I mean, machine. you know, there's some things going on, but but look at this. I mean, it is. I don't even think it has a valve cover leak. Yeah, see, look at that. Is it full? Completely full. I mean, completely full. It healed. Yeah. It literally healed. I th I think I could have ran 70 all the way home. Just didn't want Cause to Because it was, it. well, it was chugging. But that could be but, carb. Well, after we filled up that first run, I never felt to do that again. Maybe I just never back. tried to do it again. I kind of wondered if we got some shit gas, you know? Well, you also put corn. an entire bottle of Marvel in three gallons of gas. No, that has nothing to do with it. <laughs> no, the radiator healed itself with the stop leak. Yeah, that's that fixed stopped forever. stopped spraying, so we won't ever address that again. <laughs> I mean, we didn't lose a hose, nothing. Thermostat opened up, I mean. Yeah, it's, it's, your basic little stuff, all the stuff I thought to bring. Yeah. It works. Works. <laughs> really, the headlights were a little annoying. Yeah, more than a little. Now I have to buy four more of these damn things. <laughs> well, yeah, we brought a trailer. Obviously, we didn't use it. That was a total waste of time. However, if we would have gone up there, we could have made it back without a trailer, sure. clearly. Yeah. But if we would have drove any other vehicle here, we would not have made it home until daytime. Yeah, yeah. Because, because that, nothing has the same Other headlights. than the Eagle... Nothing. And I'm not driving that. Old. No. <laughs> that truck is the only reason this made it home, yeah, actually. Yeah, I mean, 100%. We would have had to let, leave it and come back for it in the morning. Well, anyway, I think it's safe to say that this thing is uh, going to go on to live another day. It's kind of a special car being what it is. It is a 76. It's kind of a special thing. Kind of goes with that step side, actually. It's yeah. a special edition 76, too. I don't know why I keep winding up with all these oddball, like, <laughs> unique vehicles. But here's another one. So tell me what you want me to do with this thing. I have no idea. But I do know one thing. It took us nine hours to drive three and a half hours home. Yeah. And I'm exhausted. I kind of just want to go to sleep, not yeah. look at this anymore. So yeah. I'm, that's... I'm ready to go lay down. Yeah. I am I'm quite beat. It went so well this morning. Like, everything seemed to go. It fired up quick. It, we should have known, though. If we would have just put the starter on it at some point in time, <laughs> yeah. and then turning it over have, wouldn't have been that big of a deal. If I mentioned that this car was just running for the last, like, six <laughs> hours... We never shut it off. We were working on the fuel pump with the car with running. With the car running the entire time. Like quickly unplugging <laughs> the hoses so it wouldn't die. <laughs> Instead of putting the starter that I had on the car. I'm not going to lie. I was really cold in the wind in Iowa, and I was trying not to have to sit there any longer, and I don't think that worked out in our favor. No, it just made us be there more. <laughs> It's so much better here, and it's midnight. It's midnight, <laughs> and I'm comfortable. And also, there's no wind. It's right dead now. still. <laughs> Amazing how that works when you're not surrounded by corn.